Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be talking about two ways you can import custom monsters into your game. The modules we'll be using to achieve this are Tetra Cube Import and Critter DB Import. So before we get started, I will mention that there are other ways you can import monsters that are probably easier and potentially better. However, to my knowledge, those methods are also behind a paywall of some kind. If you know of something that isn't, uh, you can go ahead and put it down in the comments as long as it's legal. Let's mention that right away. All right, let's go ahead and get started um, by looking at Tetra Cube Import. Let's go first to the website. So the Tetra Cube website looks like this. We can see already that there is an option to choose presets. So I can start off with a creature already in the 5e SRD. And I can edit this like so, changing anything I want, changing the speed, changing what saving throws they're proficient in, changing the damage types that they are resistant to or immune to. You can change anything you really want, starting either with a preset or starting off with just nothing. But once you are finished, the last thing you need to do if you want to take everything you have here and import it into Foundry is you need to press the button labeled View Markdown. And then here, starting from this top line, you're going to copy all of this text. After you do that, we are going to go back to Foundry VTT. All right, once you are finished on the TetraCube website, you need to go back to Foundry VTT, open up the Actors tab, go to the bottom where you have TetraCube Import, paste everything you copied, and then at first when I saw this, I was very confused. I wasn't sure what I needed to do whether I need to close. But really all you need to do is you need to click in the bottom right hand corner and then it'll open up. And we can see I have my creature here, the spy. All the features are available. The attributes are correct, hit points are correct, but there are no images or anything like that. So I'll need to add in everything on my own unless I have a separate module to handle that for me. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look now at the second module that can be used to import creatures. All right, we are now looking at the Critter DB website. This is a collection of various statistics. Um, what I'm looking at, because this particularly interested me, is a collection of Elder Evils that have been converted from 3.5 to 5e. And I want to take this one here. So I'm going to go on the right hand side, click export, export to JSON. Export to CritterDB JSON and then copy to clipboard and then I need to go back to Foundry BTT. Alright, once we are back in Foundry, we need to go to the Compendium tab, go to the bottom where there is CritterDB import. Everything we copied with the JSON, we need to paste into this box and then we need to press import. If you don't already have a folder for CritterDB imports, it will create one for you. And then it will put the create a creature inside of that folder. After you see it here, you can just go ahead and press import entry and it'll appear in your game. Now the module creator does warn that there that this will do 90% of the job for you. The other 10% is that it assumes all weapon attacks will be strength based if they're melee and assumes all ranged attacks will be dex based. It also, the module creator also warns that if there is like a specialty weapon, something that attacks in like some weird method, there's a potential that it might not be correct. So everything will be mostly okay, but please check your attacks if you plan on using this before your game. So that's everything for today's video, but if there are any questions, please put them down in the comments below, and I'll help out as much as I can. Thanks, everyone.